So those pictures from today are going to enter that uh, hall of, uh, well, I'm not sure they should call it fame, whatever it is, it's going to enter that particular list of bad incidents in assembly. Moving on, heavy rain in Delhi has paralyzed traffic in many parts. It's strange, we keep on praying and praying and praying for rain and then when it comes, the entire city actually comes to a standstill. Sirat Pandey is out there keeping an eye on what's happening and things. Sirat, how bad is it? You're, you're not quite getting washed away, but you look as if you might any minute. Well, Vikram, absolutely. If you're one of those people who's been praying for rains, well, your, pray uh, your prayers have been answered. And if my camera can just pan, uh, let me just show you. Uh, the, the streets essentially look like little mini rivers right now. And uh, traffic is having a very tough time navigating its way through. We've seen several cars which have stalled here. And uh, throughout the city, we're getting reports of massive traffic jams right from India Gate, RK Puram, uh, all the arteries leading out of Delhi into Gurgaon, Noida as well. And... Uh, and, and lots of reports coming in and it's, it's, it's just rained. It's just rained like mad for the last one hour. We've had massive rains and uh, the water is up to my knees here. You probably can't see it, but it's up to my knees here. And uh, as you say, those prayers have been answered. And uh, also, if you are there on the roads, if you, if you can't help it but be on the roads, do remember you can actually send us your pictures. Uh, you can actually send them to NDTV at NDTV.com. So that's what we're telling our viewers, that if you are stuck in the rain while you're enjoying it, do send us those pictures as well. Vikram. Okay, Siraj, before the rain gets up to mic level for you, uh, the water... You know, we ask this question every time, Siddharth. It's not a secret that the monsoons will hit. Actually, in Delhi, the monsoons haven't really hit. The drainage system in Delhi may well be a little better than Mumbai. It does clear after some time. But there's always this horrible period of four to five hours when nothing seems to move because the water is not being drained fast enough. Well, that's right. And I'm sure on their parts, the government officials are bound to say they'll probably set up a committee to figure out why the water gets logged. But uh, I can tell you this, it's, it's rained, uh, it's really poured. And in, and in a very short span of time, uh, parts of the city have received massive amounts of rain. So perhaps all those pent-up prayers have finally been answered with uh, lots and lots of water just coming down. So if you are one of those who enjoys the rain, uh, perhaps go out there. But if you are one of those who are just stuck, uh, completely caught unawares, uh, well, essentially, perhaps you'll have to swim your way almost. But uh, massive rains out there, massive traffic uh, snarls across the city. But if you are stuck, do remember to send us pictures at NDTV, at NDTV.com as well. Vikram. Sirah, one, one final point. A city like Delhi, which uh, so often has problems with water, drinking water, and there are many parts of Delhi where the water table has been falling in a very dramatic and a very alarming fashion. Um, at moments like this, you really do wish for a city-wide water harvesting system so that the water from the roads can actually go back in to the water table. Those plans don't seem to be moving anywhere very fast, or are they? Not really, Vikram. And interestingly, one of the places where there's a big traffic jam is the Dholakuma flyover. And the Delhi government actually uh, set up a major water harvesting system there. But even, ob uh, even that obviously has been taken over by the sheer amount of water that we have. But you are absolutely right. In parts of this city, the water table is at 400 feet. And essentially, if people did uh, invest in a water harvesting system, that could help replenish the supplies in this city. And Delhi, obviously, throughout there does not get enough water. But if you are there in Delhi today, you'd probably think that's, that's a lie. So essentially, absolutely, the city uh, de does need more water harvesting uh, structures. But right now, lots of water stuck on the roads, not moving as we speak. Vikram. All right. Siraj, just stay on with us for a second. I just want to bring, to, to bring up a map, if we can, of Delhi, uh, and then, then come back to Siddhartha on that. Here are some of the places where rain has completely halted Delhi right now. Minto Road, Ridge Road, India Gate, South Extension, Dholakwa, Saket, Nehru Place. Just about the whole of, whole of Delhi right now is, uh, is gridlocked, and gridlocked in an in a extremely serious uh, uh, sort of a fashion. Uh, so that you were saying that the real reason for this is that it's been very, very sharp and very, very acute. Lots and lots of rain in just about an hour. That's right, Vikram. In fact, one estimate by the Met Department puts it at 39.6 millimeter of rain, uh, and that's a lot. And in a very uh, short span of time, unfortunately, uh, people have uh, in this city closed off most of those drains. They've turned them into parking lots and the water essentially stagnated. Uh, NDTV's group editor, Barkhadat, coming in from the airport reports that there's massive water logging at the airport as well. Uh, essentially, all the roads leading into the airport. And as you said, we've had reports of traffic jams across the city. So if you are there, if you are stuck in a jam, do send us an SMS or even if you can, send us an email on your BlackBerry. And definitely pictures. Share your stories. Tell us what's happening out there in the rain. As, of course, uh, Delhi uh, perhaps... Uh, 
uh, greets those prayers that we've all been saying for rain. Uh, perhaps too much of that happening as we speak. Vikram. Okay, too much of a good thing just right now. Tubar.com.